one of our favourite phones of last year, the HTC One, has got a successor, and this is it, the HTC One M8. We've been given a sneak peek at a pre-launch briefing to get a closer look at what it's all about. The HTC One M8 might seem like a strange moniker, but it actually follows in the footsteps of its predecessor, which was codenamed the M7 before launch. As we know, that predecessor went on to do pretty well, scoring a whole host of five-star reviews and becoming the most awarded phone of 2013. So the M8 has some pretty big shoes to fill. ATC told us the key areas it wanted to focus on in the One M8 were its design, sound and camera, taking what they'd learned in the original one and pushing things forward. Its design has been subtly tweaked, with slightly rounder corners and edges that taper in, making it feel slimmer than ever. The capacitive buttons are long gone too, and now just appear on the screen instead. That metal design that we loved so much in the original is back, and it's taking over more than ever. The HTC One M8's body is around 90% metal, versus around 70% in its predecessor, which is quite the improvement. We're going to put ourselves out there and say it's the most premium feeling and premium looking handset on the market. We're big fans from our first impressions. Its screen is bigger, up from 4.7 inches to 5 inches, and is gorgeously sharp at full HD and 441 pixels per inch. Despite the boost in screen, the body is largely the same size, thanks to a slimmer bezel, so you get maximum screen real estate for minimal pocket bulk. Under the hood, you'll find the latest 2.3 GHz Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor and 2 GB of RAM, plus an internal memory of just 16 GB. Luckily, the microSD card slot saves the day, accepting a sizable boost of up to 128 gig, plus there's some cloud storage included via Google Drive as well. HTC's Sense UI has had an update to Sense 6.0, which brings with it a number of tweaks and usability improvements. For a start, there is now a feature called Motion Launch, which, like the LG G Flex, allows you to wake the phone from sleeping with a double tap. Other lock screen gestures include swiping left to automatically open BlinkFeed, HTC's content aggregating homepage, swiping right to go directly to the app tray and upwards to open your most recent app. If you have a passcode, you will have to enter this first though. Speaking of BlinkFeed, it's had a few tweaks of its own, mostly on the usability front. Scrolling is smoother, there's a new option for bundling updates and news stories by topic, and it's easier than ever to search for feeds to add to your page. The big talking point of the HTC One was its camera's use of ultra pixels, which returns here. This means the main camera is 4.1 ultra pixels and claims a great low light performance, which we can't wait to try out. There are actually two rear cameras on the back of the One M8, called the duo camera. One captures photos as usual, and the other captures all the depth information for every snap. This means that any photo you take can be edited afterwards to change its focus, with no special mode needed. Our brief first look testing brought up some mixed results though. We'll have to wait for our full review to see how it fares. Other tweaks on the photos front include an improved camera UI with the ability to tweak manual settings and save them as a mode, a faster autofocus, and a new multi-tone flash which aims to create a more natural effect when taking snaps in the dark. And so to sound. There's no high-res audio here unfortunately, but some work has been done to improve the sound from the already excellent internal stereo speakers. The speaker chambers have been redesigned so the One M8 can go 25% louder than before, and there's also a redesigned amp which is able to independently amplify different parts of the track. This means bass doesn't get overdone when trying to up the sound of soft vocals, for example. HTC's own boom sound setting replaces Beats audio for the first time, but looks to do something very similar when it comes to boosting that low end. We'll bring you our thoughts on it in our full review. The HTC One MA is set to be available in a choice of three colors, the main one being metal gray alongside amber gold and arctic silver. We're reviewing it as we speak, so keep your eyes peeled on whatHiFi.com for our full lowdown very soon.